Hello, boys and girls, and those who bounce in between. It's uh, Comrade Denki here, and in our last video, we covered the very tragic story of a young seven year old girl who was found uh, dead in the Sonoran Desert by Border Patrol. Um, and we covered the story of Scott Warren and his group, No More Deaths, whose humanitarian aid is essentially to set up life-saving, uh, uh, what, what could I even call them? Uh, just, uh, packets of water and food and blankets, stuff that can help them, uh, save the lives of so many people, uh, trying to make their way through the treacherous deserts of Arizona, uh, especially in the summer months when temperatures can get up to 100 and 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and so I thought we could read a little bit about like the signs and symptoms of heat stroke here because I want people to be aware that uh, the Trump administration is trying their damnedest to prosecute humanitarians that are trying to provide water and food and, and blankets to these people trying to provide medical attention, trying to help them navigate. Uh, this is a humanitarian crisis here, and it's won by our government's design. And so it says, heat stroke generally presents with a hyperthermia of greater than 105.1 degrees Fahrenheit in combination with disorientation and a lack of sweating. Before a heat stroke uh, occurs, people show signs of heat exhaustion, such as dizziness, mental confusion, headaches, and weakness. If a heat stroke occurs when the person is asleep, symptoms may be hard to notice. However, an uh, ex ex extertional heat stroke, sorry, I couldn't read that, uh, the uh, afflicted person may sweat excessively. Young children, in particular, may have seizures. Eventually, unconsciousness, organ failure, and death will result. So that is a very cruel fate to put on anybody, let alone a young girl uh, trying to cross the desert. Uh, let's look at dehydration. Because out of all the fates likely to, to befall these poor people, um, dehydration is... Uh, probably second only to heat stroke. So it says the hallmarks of dehydration include thirst and neurological changes such as headaches, general discomfort, loss of appetite, decreased urine volume, confusion, unexplained tiredness, purple fingernails, and seizures. The symptoms of dehydration become increasingly severe with greater total body water loss. If body water loss is 1 through 2% considered mild dehydration, it is shown to impair cognitive performance. In people over age 50, the body's thirst sensation diminishes and continues diminishing with age. Many senior citizens uh, suffer symptoms of dehydration. Dehydration contributes to morbidity in, in the elderly, despite, uh, especially during conditions that promote Insensible free water losses such as hot weather. So imagine an elderly person trying to cr uh, cross through this path. They would be much more likely to get dehydration. A Cochrane review of the subject defined water loss dehydration as people with blah, 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 found the main systems in the elderly were expressing fatigue, missing drinks between meals, and bioelectrical impedance analysis. Terminal dehydration is dehydration to the point of death. Some scholars make a distinction between uh, terminal dehydration and termination by dehydration. Courts in the United States do not uh, recognize prisoners as having the right to die by voluntary dehydration since they view it as suicide. Oh, huh, that's good to know. Um, let's see. 
dehydration has been known to cause a sense of mild euphoria provided no intravenous is used. That's kind of weird. Um, the... Uh, damn. I mean, that's morbid as fuck, but I guess that's the only sort of consolation this girl might have had was just a little bit of mild euphoria before she passed away. It's hor It's horrible. So now that that has been established, this is a video published by Scott Warren's group, No More Deaths. It says, in the early morning of May 4th, 2012, Border Patrol agents destroy water left for migrants in distress along a desert trail near the town of Arivaca, Arizona. More than 178 people died while crossing the Arizona desert during fiscal year 2012. Note the timestamp on the video is incorrect. Okay. So. Oh, you fucking douchebags. You realize that you've probably killed people doing that? You fucking assholes? I can't believe some people can be so horrible. These are the very fine people on both sides, ladies and gentlemen. This is this this is the Chud crew. This is the Trump administration. Uh well, actually, no, this wasn't the Trump administration. This was the fucking Obama administration. So I think I think a lesson learned here is that, you know, Trump, this may have been perpetuated uh, or uh, propelled under Trump, but it was initially perpetuated by Bush and Obama, this kind of shit. So, you know, it's it's really horrible to see. They just killed people there. They have just killed people. That lady is a murderer and those guys are accomplices I hope those jugs it didn't look like they did a good job I hope those jugs stay full uh, I hope they didn't em get emptied but uh, you know that's that's real bad that's bad so yeah uh, fuck the border patrol fuck ice they need to you know they need to get justice this week